Tasha K is at it again, ladies and gentlemen. And you know how Tasha can play when you get in her crosshairs. Well, a lot of people she sent running for the hills. Shannon Sharp now is in her crosshairs. And she's coming after Shannon Sharp. You know how Tasha K get that. We all know the Cardi B story. Um, how she come, how she's come at Cardi B, R. Kelly, so many people, right? Shannon Sharp, you know, was is a revered was revered as a football player, top three easy, greatest tight end to ever touch a football. He had a sensational career with the Denver Broncos, uh, also with with ba the Baltimore Ravens, winning two Super Bowls. After retirement, you know, Shannon is making a, a bigger name for himself. He's actually known more in retirement than when he was actually a Hall of Fame football player. Uh, we, we watch him with the Nightcap show. I mean, I've never seen uh, a person have a podcast that get in, uh, in excess of 60,000 people watching them after 12 o'clock at night. That's literally unheard of. We, we, we see Club Shay Shay. We see him on ESPN. So he's making his rounds, and he's killing the social media game right now. But Shannon Sharp is also messy. He likes to deal in all the salacious gossip and all the trash. He's come over to Black YouTube. And you know when black YouTube, anything goes. They talk about your mama in black YouTube. And Shannon Sharp, he has thick skin. He likes to deal with all the, the gossip with other people, but he don't like when people talk about him. But when you come over into the gossip sector, you put yourself in the crosshairs of one and only, Tasha K. And Tasha K took the comedy hype to talk about his sexuality. And maybe he should just come out. It's okay. If you don't believe me, check this out. Now, I don't think Shannon taking up the ass, but I think he giving I do. I'm going to come out the gate, okay? There's a big conversation or like a repeated conversation that keeps popping up about who's gay in Hollywood. Oh, sh Constantly, yeah, just out the gate. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know who's gay. I'm not in the bedroom. I know what I'm told. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. There's a difference. I ain't seen no in nobody ass. However... The streets, when the streets are talking, where there's smoke, there's fire. Definitely think Shannon Sharp. And, and it's just like, you know, I've been around a lot of heterosexual men. And comfortable heterosexual men don't need to always defend mm -hmm. their heterosexualness. Mm -hmm. Shannon Sharp is always upset when somebody's saying that he's gay. Like, what's wrong? Even if you were or weren't gay, what's wrong with people labeling you gay? Like... Mm. Is it that bad? Why does it hurt you? I think that's why I, I wanted to kind of open it up because it seems like, particularly in our community, that's like a, a thing. Like, I got you. Like That's a Hollywood thing. Mm. Not in the black community, but that's a Hollywood thing. So when you're in Hollywood and you able to make it up certain ladders and you got a heavy tongue and a lisp, we asking questions. Got you. <laughs> Got you. So you think it's the fact that he's associated with the industry? Yeah. You don't think it's the fact that he's wearing like tight jogger suits, he has a small dog, um, you know, those the things. The shade from... Oh, I'm just... <laughs> I love it. I'm just, get... I'm just asking questions, though. Yeah, you're cool. No, absolutely. And, you know, about maybe a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. you know, somebody put me on, very strong source in the industry, mm -hmm. onto a stylist that Shannon Sharp had, right? Right. And, um, you know, they was just like, please just take a look at the stylist. The stylist that he has with him that goes everywhere. I have never seen an artist travel with the stylist. Normally they order clothes if it's for events, but for a stylist to follow you everywhere mm -hmm. to the point where they're dressing you morning, noon, and night for every show that you do, and they're sitting courtside with mm -hmm. you at every damn basketball game, as if you Keisha K. or Gucci Mane. And this particular stylist, shout out to the Hollywood Mugler, because that's why he got his comments off, because he would put up videos of him with Shannon, and he would always be focused on Shannon's crotch area or ass area. Like, these are facts. Okay. And this same stylist was exposed for exposing another NFL player for being down low. And so Shannon got this stylist everywhere that he goes, flying private to every party. The stylist hits me, he was like, Tasha, how did I get in the group chat? You know how you got in the group chat, the Hollywood Mugler? You doing more than styling. You styling your man. That's what it looks like. Now it gets even crazier because Tasha K, you know, like, like I said, she don't hold back you know, when the information comes to her, she just lets it all hang out. 
and she talked about this stylist guy that he had that she, that he's had. And this stylist guy is known in the industry, but he's been on private planes with Shay Shay. <laughs> Shay Shay. I don't even know what, what kind of men names and stuff. Shay Shay. I mean, if you ask me, but hey, you know. But he's been on. He's been sitting courtside, courtside seats with Shay Shay. We seen Shannon walk and do with his dog. And some people say, you know, what does it matter? And it really doesn't matter about his sexuality, right? But when you come over to black YouTube and you want to play in the, dirt, the, the dirty game, then let's not be hypocrites. But let's check out the second half of what Tasha said, and I'll give you my closing comments. You know, we ended up putting that out, mm -hmm. and uh, Shannon Sharp blocked me. I said, but Shannon, like, it, mm. like what man do you see going dressed down with a stylist to the point where your stylist has on jury that you know he can't afford on a stylist salary. Like mm -hmm. this is jury, like jury that like Floyd Mayweather would give like his hoes. So it's like, where is he getting this jury? Where is he getting these expensive clothes? You, you see what I'm saying? Did, did someone I say they were related though? They're not related. Okay. Everybody calls Shannon Sharp unk. So he's like, that's my nephew. But when I put out that story and he gets on like, I can't stand that, 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 with that heavy ass Tom. Tom's so heavy, he can't eat no if he tried. Now, when he, when he said that, he ended up firing the stylist all of a sudden. Because it's obvious that you're using this as a cover up. And why do you get so irritated when people call you gay? Right. People call me a lesbian all the time. Right. Do I care? Right. I don't give a Right. I suck every night and every morning, and that's nobody's business what I'm doing. But it doesn't bother me just because people want to label me a certain way. Right. Because I am, even though I'm not of the industry, I'm associated with the industry. Right. So, of course, that comes with the it comes stigma. Comes the territory. Right. That, you know, we just free with our sexuality. But I'm a very conservative woman, but I notice he gets bothered to the core. Bothered just like Meek Mill out here screaming, I'm not gay no more. So... In transparency. Yeah. Now, I had a question for, um, I had an interview with Sean Khan. He was Richard Pryor's bodyguard. And we talked about Paul Mooney. Right. Paul Mooney had a little bit of rumors. He no, he never came out. And Richard Pryor's bodyguard was saying, you know what? If he would have came out, then he would have, like, it would have, like, now in today's time, would have amplified his career as, like, you know, this gay comedian that's black. But... Because now it's more acceptable. Right. But I would ask you, kind of in Shannon's case, because it does seem to be a conversation. Are you, are you not? Do you think he should hide his sexuality? No. There's a lot of money to be made in the LGBTQ community. He can get those checks, too. He can cross over. But he's a football player, too, so I think... And, and, and that, would even, that would take the stigma off a lot of football players. I have football players begging me, please don't put out stories because these trans women are exposing them. It depends on where they sitting on the bench. So if nobody knows them on the bench, I pass it up. If you on the field, we going live. <laughs> now, as far as Shannon, what have you heard? So he just blocked you and there was never no... Yeah, he over. blocked me because I put that out. I was like, Shannon... Okay, let's say this is your personal stylist, which he is styling me. Right. Why all the perks? Why does he get backdoor access to games, front row seats next to you? Right. He's, he's, he's sitting up next to you. You got a bag, you got a bag. Like, he is your woman. Jury down. What if he just treats his team good? Like, his, his team. Why the other team ain't sitting courtside with him? Why they ain't sitting next to him at parties and in clubs? Why he got phones on Shannon's ass? Now, I don't think Shannon taking up the ass, but I think he giving I do. That's just my personal opinion. And ain't nothing wrong with that. And let's, and let's, and let's cut the sh The nigga messy. Okay. He's a big... Listen, he calling me messy. I, I own my messiness. Now you don't enter a very messy arena. Now you're being labeled as gay because normally LGBTQ play with these conversations like this. And now you're in these conversations and you're messy. You're arguing with other men. You're defending your gayness. All this sh Like, come on. Come on. Now I'm going to say this. And I'm going to ruffle some feathers. A lot of y'all ain't going to like it. Because a lot of you out there, hypocrisy, I'm talking to you right there. Yeah, and him sitting next to you. Yeah, I see you. I'm talking to you. And you, sister, too. Yeah, you are a goddamn hypocrite.
because you play in black YouTube and you love Cynthia G and the Pink Pill Girls that all they do is gossip and talk trash about people, say all kinds of crazy stuff, right? That's unbecoming of a woman. Y'all listen to it and support it all day. Y'all love the Manosphere stuff. Y'all love the black pill content that disrespect black women and do all that kind of stuff. In black, I mean, black YouTube, the history speaks for itself, right? And black YouTube blows up because y'all support it, right? So now... Shannon wants to come over into the into this sector because he was Shannon Sharp. He could have talked sports. He could have went over to many different sectors. He's a Hall of Fame. He has the the um was it the green jacket or the yellow jacket, whatever them Hall of Famers wear. He wears the jackets, right? He didn't come. He had to come over into our sector. But when he come over into our sector, you don't all of a sudden give him all kinds of grace that you haven't given other people in Black YouTube. He's in here dealing with at, with the trash. So. He's uh, he he's subject to scrutiny. So let me ask you guys something. You guys out there, something in the hood. If you hire a gay stylist, will he will he be sitting courtside seats with you? Will he be flying on private jets with you, wearing all kinds of jewelry, uh, 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 um, and all kinds of pictures with you everywhere you go? When he has a history of already exposing players, no. You you would criticize your homeboys if he did that. So let's not be hypocrites. I'm not dealing whether he's gay or not. I'm dealing with what's going on, what we can see. I'm having a conversation about would you do it. So don't make excuses for something you, you know you, you know yourself you wouldn't do. Stop it because you're being a hypocrite. You can love Shannon as a football player. Hell, I do. Right? But when Shannon came over to black YouTube and he want to play this game, and now people, we see him walking with a little poodle dog, putting this chapstick on his lips every three seconds, posing like this in, in, in uh, pictures. I mean, I, I'm just saying. What up, <laughs> you know, so all I'm saying, all I'm saying is Tasha K, you know how Tasha K get down. And Tasha K is just saying, listen, right now, uh, the LGBT is winning. Come out and walk in your truth, man. Well, she, well, you know what she said. She said, come out and switch in your truth. Wearing them tight pants and all that. <laughs> you can like somebody and separate from, because this is the thing. Shannon is bringing people on and he allowing them to talk they talk. But when you get into this sector and you do that, it's other things that come with that. So that's all I'm saying. I'm just reporting the news, man. And y'all heard Tasha K has spoken. Me as me, me as a man, I'm not wearing that stuff that, that, that he be wearing. I'm not I'm not homophobic. You can have you can have a, a gay stylist, but he's not gonna be sitting courtside seats with me. He's not gonna be rolling with me everywhere I go. And then when I come under scrutiny for it, I fire him. Yeah, okay. Okay, Shannon. We believe you. You need more people. But I'm going to cut this video short here. Like, subscribe, and share the Street Media TV. Leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. And remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.